And if you are watching, you'll be seeing the extraordinary footage that Talk Radio put out yesterday of uh, the uh, eco-warriors insulate Britain, Extinction Rebellion's more annoying cousin, uh, and uh, the extraordinary footage of them closing down roads across London. It ended up being a Blackwall Tunnel, a Wandsworth Bridge, North Circular Road, but it was Wandsworth Bridge where the extraordinary footage happened, where basically drivers going about their daily business, ordinary law-abiding citizens who decided to take the law into their own hands uh, because the police didn't turn up on time and remove uh, the Insulate Britain protesters from the streets uh, who refused to remove despite the fact there was even a paramedic driving an ambulance asking them to get out of the way so he could drive his patient to hospital. Uh, but the, one of the spokespeople for Insulate Britain, uh, one of their leaders, Roger Hallam, has said that actually, you know, even if it was a patient on a 999 call, he would still justify blocking the, uh, an ambulance, even if it was someone who could potentially die. Well, let's talk about all of that with an Insulate Britain spokesman, Liam Norton, who joins us right now. Good morning to you, Liam. Hi there, Julia. Good morning. Um, do you agree with Roger Hallam, your uh, fellow Insulate Britain protester, that actually your cause, your passion for your cause about insulating our homes could justify basically allowing somebody to die in the back of an ambulance because you want to glue yourself to roads and block motorists going about their daily business? Well, I think you'd have to Le ask Roger Hallam about that, to be quite honest with you. But no, I our, asked you, do you policy... agree with him? Our, our policy has been to let ambulances through. There's lots of footage of us letting ambulances through during this campaign. And what we're talking but about you... is... Um... Yeah, go on, Julia. No, Liam, but, but in this scenario, it's on camera. Your protesters carrying your banners <coughs> in your name for your cause did not let an ambulance through. There is footage of a, a paramedic asking them to let him through. So they didn't, did they? Well, you're at the um, Conservative conference, is that correct? Yes, I am. I'm you not know, sure why that's know, relevant, but carry on. You know that there was there's lots of um, Tories that are at that conference that knew about Insulate Britain before it happened. Do you know that? Why do you think no, they I'm not knew? Sure why do you think? Liam, it'd why be really, this interview will go a lot better. It it... Why do you think they okay. knew about it and allowed it to because happen? Because of your protests. Right. I, can you answer why, why the question think, I've actually why asked you? Think, why do you think Conservatives that Liam, are at that conference knew about Insulate mm -hmm. Britain and allowed it to happen? Why do you think that is? They knew that we were going to I block have no ways. idea. Why don't you tell us? Because they know that, that history will define people that refuse to act on this as traitors. Right. OK, they, now, they're, would they're, you like to answer you're my in the question? Process, no. You're in the process of destroying this country. <sighs> By your okay. allow, by your f facilitating inaction, by criticising um, the, the state of the climate, etc., and you're playing a really dangerous game, Julia. A really dangerous okay. game because if you want now, to know I what the weather I don't is know doing, if... look out the Leo. window. Liam, I don't window. know if anyone's ever explained to you how interviews work, but normally you answer the questions that you're actually asked. And you're free to then make your other make other comments, but I'm, it's a really simple question: Do you agree? with what your leader said, that it would be justified because your cause is so important and you care so strongly about it that it justifies not letting an ambulance through in the circumstances which we saw on camera yesterday, allowing possibly someone to die in the process. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? Well, if you allow me the space, it's quite a difficult moral argument to make, oh. but you know... Um, it's not. Turing, it really isn't. It's a yes or a no, isn't it? It Turing in the imitation game, they, they had to allow British soldiers to die because it was... Um, if they'd have stopped every single attack through cracking the Enigma code, the Nazis would have found out um, that they were cracking the code, so they had to allow people to die. So your answer is yes. You do agree that it's if, if necessary, someone can die in the back of an ambulance, and that would be justifiable morally to you because tackling the issue of insulating Britain is such an important moral issue for you. Is that right? Well, what I'm saying is that we're in this awful moral situation where our health service is going to collapse within a few decades, and there won't be any hospitals to Within a few decades? Okay. Right. Well, um, that's what Chatham House is talking about, Julia. 
And this is what I'm saying. You're playing a really dangerous game because in five, ten years' yes. time, people that are taking your position mm -hmm. will be seen as traitors mm -hmm. because you're you're helping destroy the future of this country. Okay, I'm quite happy to be called a traitor by anybody, but I wouldn't let someone die in the back of an ambulance because of the cause that I cared about meant that I was sitting in the road in front of that ambulance trying to get to hospital. You can call me but, any name you want under the sun. I couldn't care less. I'm not calling less, you. But I would still know that I was I'm morally not, superior to you. I'm not calling you any names. I'm just saying how history you, you, will view you, you in five, just ten did. years' time. No, I'm saying how I, I, history will view you. No, I'm, 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 I'm perfectly happy to be judged I'm by saying history, that conservatives Liam. That at, conservatives that are at that conference knew about Insulate Britain. They knew okay. that it was going to happen. They knew about and the reason why they, yeah. the reason why they knew about it and allowed it to happen is because they understand that this is the greatest challenge that this country has ever faced. This is an existential threat. And we've got organisations and we've got people like Sir David King saying that what we have, we have to move rapidly. What we do in the next three to four years will determine the future of humanity. We've got Chatham House, an incredibly trusted organisation saying that there's a 95% chance that we're going over two degrees, which means the UK government will be breaking its own laws. The only lawbreakers here at the moment are the UK government. Well, no, that no, but your your no, well, yes. Britain protesters are also so so they're well, yes. not the only lawbreakers, are they? Your protesters are also lawbreakers. Do you think now? I, I know other members of your organisation have said that you don't really care if the British public like you or agree with your methods as long as action is taken. But do you not think there is a rather big risk that people will become actively opposed to your cause? If you keep taking me measures like this, it's one. I mean, I personally don't agree with you even inconveniencing people on the roads who can't get to work on time. But when you are stopping people getting to hospital and justifying that, as you have done uh, and uh, your leader, uh, Roger Hallam, has done yesterday, um, you are going to completely alienate people. And if you want the government to do what you want them to do, you need to have people on your side. Julia, this isn't a cause. It's where you're confused. What is isn't it, it then? It's a physical reality. Have you seen the rain in, it, in Italy at the moment? Getting like a year's worth of rain <laughs> in a day. The, the, you laugh, but the thing is, is like I you're do. facilitating the destruction of capitalism. Okay. I'm, God, I, I tell you what, I have a lot of responsibility for what goes on in this planet, don't I? No, but you're not taking responsibility. It weighs heavily. It weighs you? heavily on me. It weighs heavily on me. Um, you're playing a dangerous game, Julia. I'm... Okay, how, how am I playing a dangerous game. game, Liam? Because because is you're it a more, is in it a the more dangerous game than, than gluing yourself to a road in front of an ambulance? I don't know. Y yes, it is. It is because it's an existential yes, it battle is. for the future yeah. of the planet and the human race. Do you realise that actually, majority of people in this country don't think that is the case? 80% of UK citizens accept there's an emergency. So you're in the minority there. They, no, no, no. Po polling yes, polling is a little bit questionable in this area. Well, you try and pull Does polls up against us and say that the public are against us. When they suit you, you no, bring no, them up. But when I'm they not, don't, I'm not you, talking you... about polls. I'm, I'm talking about people's actions. People, people have, it's very easy to judge what people really think by what they choose to do. And the, and the fact that they clearly don't think that you're you, you look you've seen mass you know mass action against what you your your protesters are doing clearly people don't by and large agree with your cause or agree with your methods either. I've just said to you it's not a cause it's a physical reality that we're in <laughs> and we need to do something about I'll it. I'll choose my own we, language we, if that's we, okay. I'll, we, I'll choose we, my words. You choose yours. And we accept the public's frustration. And to be honest, we're as mystified as anyone else as to why the government and Pretty Patel haven't dealt with us sooner. They could have dealt with us, they, they could have put us in prison weeks ago and they've decided not to. And we're just as mystified as anyone else as to why that isn't happening. And they could have also uh, given us a meaningful statement. It's all a big conspiracy, statement. isn't it? We could have also given us a meaningful statement that we could trust and we would have been off the roads immediately. A statement that would have protected the future of this country, would have provided hundreds of thousands of meaningful jobs and it would have brought millions of people okay. out of fuel poverty if we go into a fuel crisis. They could stop this yes, immediately. Okay, the yes, OK. Liam Norton, Insulate Britain spokesman Liam Norton. Um, <laughs> Darren Grimes is... I've had the joy of watching Darren Grimes' face <laughs> throughout that, that interview. Um, 
it, it's an extraordinarily pompous attitude, isn't it? This idea that I feel very strongly about this. It's not a cause. Don't use the word cause. That upsets Liam. Um, but I can, I can justify anything, including someone dying in the back of an ambulance, because I'm going to, because I, I need the government to act on insulating Britain. Yeah, I think these petulants, frankly, are actually showing that the green movement is anti-democratic and that it doesn't care about people, mm -hmm. right? They see, ultimately, the sort of uh, immiseration of Britain by removing those capitalist structures and all the rest of it, the fruits of progress away from us mm -hmm. and actually ensuring that we're... Basically, Juliet, they won't be happy until we're crawling around in caves in loincloths, yeah. right? And even then they might say, oh, well, the natural environment is a bit too disturbed by human presence. Yes, we're, we're a virus on the planet. Exactly. It's a quite extraordinary attitude, isn't it? It is. And I find, I find extraordinary, and I've had this battle with them many times before, is this idea that fuel poverty, people can't, you know, people are dying of cold because of fuel poverty. You know, that's because we don't have cheap, reliable exactly. fuel, which we could get from nuclear, yeah. from, from uh, fracking gas. Which they oppose. Which, and they oppose both of those things. Yeah. And the, the, again, though, he went back to that point saying you're a traitor and all these things, or you will be viewed as being a traitor. Juliet, this country emits 1% of global CO2 emissions. Why don't they get themselves out to China yeah. and protest there? Absolutely. Get on their roads? Yeah, I, yeah, now that would be fun to watch, <laughs> wouldn't it? Uh,